Alabama State goes down between the hedges and put the Georgia Bulldogs in the spliff. And we win 42 to 7. And now we're going to go up north. Up there in Dover, Delaware. We got a little swack me at challenge for you cats. But before we get into that, I have to show y'all something. Heath Vincent, the Georgia Bulldog running back, had over 200 yards rushing. Over 200 yards on 15 carries. But enough about that. Let's go back up to Dover, Delaware, where the Alcorn State Braves are in town to take on the Delaware State Hornets. Should be an interesting game, considering both of these teams haven't been too good over the years, but Delaware State is the reigning MEAC champions. And look at this pass right here, going deep to the wide receiver, making that beautiful catch right there. The fans are loving that, the Delaware State Hornet fans, that is. So we got a 30-10 situation. Look at this pass right here. He's looking deep. He's looking in the back of the end zone. And that pass falls incomplete. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. But anyway, third and 10, there goes Joel Munn. He steps back to pass. He's popping it deep this time. And the wide receiver makes the catch right there. That's a beautiful grab. Joel Munn on a beautiful pass right there. The Alcorn State Braves are approaching the red zone. So here they go again. Joel Munn popping it. Up the left side and that pass, it was caught but it fell incomplete. So a 4th and 12 situation. Alcorn State's crazy for doing this, right? Yeah, they nuts for doing that. They just gave up good field position to Delaware State. So Delaware State have the football eventually they at their own 45. There goes the quarterback taking off past the 50 in the Alcorn State territory. Gets tackled past the 40-yard line. The Hornets are moving. The Northeastern Hornets. First and 10 now. The Hornets of Delaware State are moving upfield. Look at this pass up the middle, and he gets tackled inside the 10-yard line, and now they're threatening. A third and goal situation at the 6-yard line, the handoff to the running back, and he gets into the end zone for a touchdown. Reservations for six for the Hornets of Delaware State, that is. And they're up 7-0. So there goes Joel Munn stepping back the pass, but that gets picked off. Delaware State's defense steps up tall. So here goes John Robinson. Rolling out to the right, throws it all the way to the left. That was a bad pass, but they're going to get bailed out on a defensive pass interference call on Robinson. So they continue to move at the 11-yard line. Robinson pops it. That pass is tipped and intercepted in the end zone. A bad decision, and there goes Dixon making that interception, saving Alcorn State. So here go the Braves once again, them big, bad Braves. This time, Joel Mon gets set. Gibson on the set from the free safety spot. Second and long now. Joel Munn stepping back again, and this time he got sacked. Back-to-back -back sacks for the Delaware State Hornet defense. It's third and long this time. So John Robinson of the Delaware State offense are back on the field. And look at Robinson taking off off the gut, breaking a tackle, and getting tackled at the 40-yard line. They're in brave territory. Second and 10 this time, Robinson. He tries to pitch it, but he gets popped. He got baptized with the holy water, but Delaware State recovery. Fourth and 13, that's a fake. They tried to pump, but they call a fake. And look at that, they converted it. They converted it, what a play by Delaware State. Let's go. At the 27 yard line of Alcorn State, Robinson popping it to the left and that pass is caught. And now they're in the red zone, they're threatening once again. At the 16, Robinson pops it to the right. It's the same play the other way. And this time the running back gets it to the end zone again for a touchdown. Now he has a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown. But here come the big bad Braves and Joel Mon gets shot again. He's been laid flat on his behind all game and this time he's injured. I don't think he ever came back, I forgot. So, Alcorn said at the punt, waiting for it though, is Tyler Noah, the impact player at wide receiver, rocking at 81 like T.O. back in the day and he gets tackled inside the five yard line. What a return right there. Third and goal. There goes Robinson. Robinson, nobody's open. Robinson shakes the man and gets into the end zone for another touchdown. Alcorn State at the pass the sticks. The Braves are looking mighty bad again this year. So, Alcorn State's back on offense. Look at this pass. I thought that was going to get interception. He actually caught that. That was a great catch. But eventually, that would lead to their first points of the game, which wasn't a touchdown, but it was a field goal. It's 21-3 now, still in favor of Delaware State. Second is two now. Delaware State's back on offense, and this time, John Robinson makes a bad pass. It was a much better read. He gets it such a, but at least he made the tackle, though. First turnover of the game for the Delaware State offense. 
And now here goes Joel Munn, once again getting picked off. Oh my gosh, Joel Munn just threw a pick six. What a play that was right there by the linebacker. But Delaware State was at the nickelback. I forgot. But anyway, the Delaware State Hornets prevail over Alcorn State. The Miet showing his ass today. As the Delaware State Hornets take care of Alcorn State 28-3. So here go the rest of the scores. Oregon State beat Southern 35-13. UConn squeaked by Arkansas Pine Bluff. Alabama A&M gets put in the split by Ohio State. We saw Delaware State beat Alcorn State. Arizona beat Bethune Cookman 31-13. Jackson State beat North Carolina 24-21. Oh, damn. LSU beat Florida A&M 28-16, but didn't look too impressive. Well, the score doesn't look too impressive. Mississippi Valley State took care of Clemson 37-10. Wow. Damn. I was not expecting that. And then Texas beat Texas Southern 45-14. Meanwhile, over there, the Sun Belt, a.k.a. the Miet, Minnesota beat A&T. South Carolina State beat Navy. Damn, Navy suck. Alcorn State lost to Delaware State. We saw that one. Vanderbilt beat Hampton. San Diego State beat Howard 44-14. New Mexico beat Norfolk State. Yikes. And then you got Arkansas squeaking by Morgan State. So that concludes this edition of the Steam. Join us next time. We got a big one next week. We're going back to the West Coast. And this time, we're taking on them USC Trojans in the cotton. Join us for the game of the week. Peace.